Hello everybody and welcome back to the SauceCast with Novel T. Today we have two very special guests on the show. We have the Honey Badger from Truth Vibration Podcast, who unfortunately just got out of jail. We were also fortunate enough to talk to Zachary K. Hubbard from Gematria Effect News. We talk about the Honey Badger's latest predicament with the law, and we also talk about rigged sports. Enjoy this one, folks. It's a barn burner of an episode. Subscribe to Truth Vibration Podcast and Gematria Effect News on YouTube and Patreon. And check out the links in the description. Thanks for listening to the SauceCast, everybody. Subscribe, like, and tell your friends if you enjoy the show. Peace and love. It's Novel T. Oh, there's Zach. Zachary, hey. how you doing? How's it going, man? How you doing, man? It's going all right. I'm sorry to hear the news, man. I was wondering where you were. I thought, oh, maybe he just be on the line. No, I figured he got arrested. I was Yeah, man. man. It's a good sitcom. I heard you say you should make a show out of it. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it, it's been an experience. Yeah. I can't believe that happened. I'm just glad it's over with right now. I, I do have to pay $1,800 to get my car out. Yeah, what a joke. I, I heard you messed up your job, your chickens died. And, and like you said, I mean, over what? What should I, my license was suspended? That's not a crime. Shouldn't yeah, 60 days in, in the can for that? That, that seems yeah. unfair. $7,500 bail. And there's like meth heads. People who beat women in there. And again, this, they're just lining them out. I'm like, what the hell is going That's on? That's ridiculous. No job or nothing. Yeah. This is the world. And this is why we need to do something. Because it's like. Why are we putting that these people in jail who contribute to society and the people out who don't? What? Truly, truly, um, yeah, it's like a really harsh sentence. Um, yeah, very harsh. And yeah, when I was listening, my first thought was, I think this has something to do with him going to that base on September 11th. It could have been. Maybe they made notes. And that, this is what I'm saying, Zach. They make notes and all the police, you know, officers have notes that they have on the cloud and they document the behavior of a person. And maybe that's how they treat people. Sure. And the judge is sentencing. He didn't have to sentence him to 50 days. So I think it's like they had it out for him or something. Yeah. And yeah. um, doesn't make sense. It, and, and again, I had that trespassing with um, w- with Tyndale Air Force, and that's why I got transferred to Panama City, where Tyndale is. They they dropped everything today, and they let me out on nothing. And they had to handcuff you and drive you an hour there for no reason. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's fucking bullshit. Until, I, I knew, I knew it, man. Like, I just knew it. Like, they told me I was gonna get out on the 18th, and I'm like. Dude, for some reason, I have a feeling I'm going to get on the 20th because all these two-on-ones are lining up, and now here I am. <laughs> right? Cool. Yeah, crack crack their code. We all have a conspiracy file against us. I think I think they definitely have a file on it, you know. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean. I wouldn't be surprised. I, 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 didn't, I didn't say nothing, too. Like, he just pulled me over, and then right in the back of the car, I didn't even say nothing, like, at all. Mm-hmm. Like, your, your, your license is spent. Get, the, get out the car. Boom. In the, in the back of the police car and off I go. Like, what the fuck? Hmm. Holy Man. hell. That's bogus as fuck. It's okay. I'm back. Uh, I, I got some stories to tell and they're funny as fuck, but... <laughs> What's that one guy <laughs> that was saying barbecue chips or something? And he was... He, he's, he's naked in the cell and we're <laughs> trying to feed food and he's swinging his, you know, Johnson around screaming out barbecue sauce. <laughs> Like, where the fuck am I, man? Like, why, why am I here? <laughs> right. <laughs> Zach, so so tell me the business, man. What the fuck's been going on? Because, okay, the guy dropping dead in, in the football. Um, El, yeah, Elvis that was Preston awesome. Slaughter, why the fuck did the bucket, like, I thought Brady was going to get his eight and three. Maybe next year you will, but. Yeah, it seemed like a long shot with Brady because that team has not looked good all season. But <laughs> it's amazing yeah. they won the division even. 
like eight and nine, they won the division. Why was it eight and nine that they? Well, so then they were eight and ten when they got done. Like, Rituals eighty one. Yeah. Eighty one or something. Eight oh one. One eighty. There's gonna be some. I, I recommend Zach's channel to a few people in there. They're they're normal people. They're not. They're like me, but they're not crazies. Even though I know we have some crazies in the community, but. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah zach what, what's been going on man let me know well i hear i just to catch up so again the lisa marie presley thing two days before she died was the golden globes and the guy who won best actor won best actor for playing elvis and um golden globes in gematria equals 54 they were held on a 54 date numerology and then she died at age 54 two days later and again elvis his first concert was in the year 54 and he recorded for Sun Records and Sun Equals 54. He yep. died in Jesuit ritual himself. And um, she died 201 days from the anniversary of Michael Jackson, because they used to be married, of course, had a child. And then uh, it reminds it's 801. me. 8.01. What's that? It's 8.01 right now. Oh, the time? Yeah. <laughs> it's two hours ahead of me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So the Lisa Marie Presley thing coincided with the the um, the Golden Globes two days before. And then you think of like what a Golden Globe is. It's kind of like the sun. In alchemy, the sun is gold. But right. um, the other piece of that is the big star in that movie is Tom Hanks. Oh, yeah. Of course. And they, they're Tom talking Hanks, about him on the news. Hollywood's golden boy. Yeah. From Tom Hanks' birthday to her death was 187 days, the homicide code in California. And his birthday is 7 nine, And Lisa Marie Presley and Gematria equals 187 and 79, like Society of Jesus. Yep. And they reported that she was taken to the hospital at 1117. That number 1117 is the 187th prime. Just like how on November 17th, there were three celebrity deaths all connected to 187. It's that number pattern again and again. But yeah, th th those were the main bullet points. The Lisa Marie Presley thing. Th there was some more to it. There's been a lot of deaths while you've been gone, man. Barbara Walters went out by the numbers. And, um, really? Holy shit! Any they, football people? Anybody in football? Uh, Pele died on the 83 date numerology. <laughs> so we saw that one come. That was on 12:29, the day you were getting sentenced. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well, of course. So, Zach, do you think this is all like a matrix, like where maybe we have no control out of what happens to us? I think we have control, but yeah, there absolutely is a matrix aspect to it. No doubt about it. Yeah. Oh. But like, it's just a, crazy how this happens to Greg. Like, he's ha he's got the worst luck out of anyone I've ever known with with getting arrested and stuff. It's it just it just that's, comes out of nowhere. I that's mean, part of the story that I'm tempted to say something and then tempted not to, but it's got my eyebrow up. But um. You can say it, man. I don't care. I'm, I, don't, I don't care. I'll what say it think? because it's speculation, but just somebody. Go ahead. Yeah. Informant, and I kind of got a weird vibe about that person in New York. And you might have said you were talking to that person when you got pulled over. And it just, I don't know. Uh, it made me mm. go. Hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you think there are um, agents, maybe like some. And not to get too inside baseball with this, but I think there are agents out there. Yeah, there might be an agent in this community. You might very well have been talking to them on the phone when you got pulled over. So, mm. Interesting. Yeah, I got in pulled over because a, a tag light was out. Like, get the fuck out of here. That a tag light? Yeah. What, what is a it, tag light? It wasn't light? out. It's not out because... My car was on when he was cuffing me, and I looked at it. It wasn't out either. I'm like, you are one corrupt motherfucker. And, and, I, and I was really nervous because there was a sheriff here in my county who was literally planting drugs on, on people. Uh, he just got sentenced on the day I got sentenced. Again, another 201. I, I don't know when the guy's birthday is or anything, but but he it was like, 80 million dollars of a lawsuit that is happening right now in this county he, he uh 263 people were arrested because of what he did 263 huh. and uh I, I laughed when i heard that and um, um 
Yeah, I'm like, of course, the 56 Prime, right? Mm -hmm. Um, and when I was getting shipped off, he was searching my car. You know, I told him, "Don't, I don't want your." I, I I looked at him like, "Don't put your dick beaters in my car, you fucking pig." <laughs> As I get pulled off into the paddy wagon, we used to when I was in rehab. We used to say there was this one guy that, you know, because in rehab uh, you're always smoking cigarettes. And this one guy, he never had cigarettes of his own. He could never afford them. And he would always go in the uh, butt, you know, the ashtray where all the cigarette butts were. And we would say, get your dirty dick beaters out of the <laughs> out of the ashtray. Sorry. <laughs> that's good. Uh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, that was totally off topic, but. <laughs> Did yeah, you so want to know about the DeMar story? Huh? Did you want to know more about the DeMar Hamlin thing? Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Let's hear tell, about that. Tell me what, what's been happening. Exactly. All right, let, me, let me just say that. There's no way. That, people get hurt every game, and they don't stop the whole game and cancel the whole game, turn the lights off in the stadium, and it's like they were making such a big deal about it. Like, what's up with that? That was a, clearly a ritual. Well, what was funny is as soon as it happened, Google changed the birthday of Chuck Hughes, who was the only player in NFL history to die on the field. But if you go look on football reference where his birthday is still as it was before DeMar Hamlin collapsed, You'll see that Chuck Hughes and Demar Hamlin have the exact same birthday, March 20th. Oh, I'm sick of this shit, Zach. Why can't yeah. we just have regular football and just, you know, enjoy the game? True, like imagine someone going to that game and wasting money on those tickets. Exactly. Oh, cancel. Too bad. They exactly. don't care though. They don't care. Biggest rating game of the NFL season. It's it's a huge energy suck on the whole populace and. Right. But and then it's hashtag pray for Hamlin or whatever. And it's like, that's how they justify. It's a, it's a tragedy. Like you said, order out of chaos. They make the most money off of, you know, tragedy and all this shit. Indeed. Indeed. Um, if it wasn't for you, Zach, I would have been star starving in jail because I was winning all kinds of food because everyone's like, the Jaguars aren't going to win. I'm like, yeah, they won't watch. <laughs> I did the well, Jamatra. Pretty well, all out. He <laughs> said nothing, but yeah, it was the ultimate comeback. They had a great riddle to win too. So Zach, yeah. uh, how are how are your predictions coming along? You you're going well, doing pretty good. I, I also missed on the Bucks game. I I, I was oh. worried about that game because I was worried about Brady. There was three thirteens going against Brady. He could pick up his thirteenth mm -hmm. playoff loss. I called Dallas the thirteenth city. Dallas could get their thirteenth win in the game, and if the Bucks didn't cover the spread, they were going to fall to thirteen. In, in the not covering the spread category, all those things were super concerning. And um, that's exactly what happened with that game. And I told so, people, I said, if, I said, if you got your future in for the Bucks to be in here, you should bet on Dallas in this one to hedge because Dallas has a narrative and they sure did beat him. Brady looked horrible the whole game. Uh, yeah. The rest of the games were fine, but uh, yeah, that, that was the one game too, just because I, I was also had the same thought you did. Are they going to have this guy go eight and three? Well, hold on. The DeMar Hamlin thing. Okay, so Chuck Hughes. What happened to him was 51 years earlier. And if you go look at the photo when Chuck Hughes was dead on the field, Dick Butt Kiss was standing over <laughs> for 51. Yeah. And um, I remember that. I remember that one that you did. Butt Kiss. The score of that game was 28 to 23. So 51 points in it. The losing team, the Lions, with the dead player, 23 points. Like this, how this happens at the start of 23. But it's 51 years later. Cincinnati equals 51. Um, Conspiracy's 51. And Chuck Hughes equals 51. And again, he has the same birthday as DeMar Hamlin. So that's a big piece of it right there. But then DeMar mm -hmm. Hamlin's born on the 83rd day of the year. He claps. The word claps equals 83 like football. And then three days later, number three for the Old Dominion basketball team also collapsed and had a similar incident. And his birthday also happens to be March 24th, the 83rd day of the year. And um, again, I think it's some kind of predictive programming for what's going to happen with the dollar bill. Because like mm. football game, you got quarters, financial quarters. And mm. like today, you got quarterbacks out saying how there could be a financial collapse. Um, so it's been I, happening. Huh? It's been happening. Sure, but I, but but I mean, it hasn't hit the pinnacle yet. Whenever they're right, 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 right. So quarter, so quarters, like there's a coin shortage. They always call them like a dime back or a nickel, you know, like all this stuff. Whatever back, you know, backed. What is it backed by? Nothing. Sure. 
Yeah, yeah that, that 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 was the thing when our podcast began, Zach, uh, back in August. You know, I mean, I'm on your Patreon. Well, now I'm more because I've been I haven't been able to pay because I haven't been sure. around. But uh, uh, bucks and bills during a financial collapse. That's kind of how we're looking at. It. But then there's 49 That's, yeah, the gold rush and 49 yeah. is gold. Back when the uh, dollar was backed by gold, that's maybe so. That's all of a sudden they get a quarterback out of nowhere in, in San Francisco and start doing really good. And it's like that just goes to show like it doesn't matter what quarterback is playing or who's playing, really. It's all about the narrative and whatever team they want to win. They'll just all of a sudden be like, oh my God, they got this guy. He's doing playing lights out. And it's like, it's all a choreography. Like it can be WWE. Like WWE is less violent than the NFL. Sure. And uh, it, it's just funny because even in jail, I, eventually I got everybody to start saying, "No, I, I, th- I think he's right. This, this shit's rigged. I think this game's rigged." Like because it, you know, I'm in Florida. A lot of Bucks fans, and they're like, they're, "Why is Brady just playing like complete shit out of nowhere like this?" You know, you know how rigged it is? They, they put up a stat that Trevor Lawrence, from high, including his high school, college, and pro career, in, in that comeback game, he became 41-0 and 0 on Saturdays his entire football career, high school, college, and pro. Yes. And 4 against L.A. We call L.A. the 41 city. And the Jaguars became 4-1 and one at home, winning that game in the divisional round. And um, Lawrence also got his 13th win of his career. L.A.'s 13 the other way, 41 in reverse. It's kind of like Kobe died at 41 in L.A. and his daughter at 13. But um, it, it'll be interesting to see if, if he has another upset in store because then he'd become 42-0 and against Mahomes, and we know how they like that number with black quarterbacks in the NFL. Mm. They love it. They love it. They get off on that, I can tell. Yeah. I, 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 I saw that. They, they put that stat up, and I'm like, yeah, look. I guarantee this 42 thing is about to hit. And I was trying to tell people about the 42. It, it, it's hard. I, I don't have a computer. I don't have a presentation, you know, so I was trying to do it. But, it, you know, yeah, I did, I did the people... old school way. Like Zach, when I first watched Zach, when I was watching him on his blackboard or, or on the, yeah, on the dry erase board. I, paper I think, uh, you know, a lot of people, it doesn't matter. Um, there's a lot of, you notice how they're promoting betting more and more Wake up methods and with MGM grand or whatever they're promoting, uh, betting. So like any idiot can go to a kiosk and win a shitload of money. So that's why people keep watching it. Cause they're interested in the betting. They don't care if it's rigged. I think a lot it's of people cool. like that. Like, it, it, it's just sad. Like I, I'm literally in there. Like I don't ever watch TV or football or news or nothing. And I'm just sitting there, obviously watching TV to pass time by. But like I'm watching this game. Like my God, these plays are just stupid. Like how how is this guy getting paid millions of dollars to make the dumbest plays? Sure. Like if I mm-hmm. I played football in in high school. Like I, you know I know how to play a little bit, but. Well, and, I think- uh, I don't know. Anyone with common sense can see that. And we know Mike McCarthy. Play, no, stupid. We know Mike McCarthy. We're, we both lived in Green Bay. We know he sucks in the playoffs. Like, all of a sudden, he's good. Like, come on. It doesn't matter. Well, it really just doesn't matter. It, just, it depends on the narrative. Exactly. That's what exactly. I'm learning more and more every day. Exactly. That it doesn't matter how much talent they have on their team or, like, you know, whatever. Like, if they really played for real – it would be a whole different story, but there's just times where like, yeah, it just needs to be this team God winning God. and that's what it is. And they get so much money. They don't care. Like they're like, whatever. I still got like a million dollars playing this one game. I don't care. I'm not, I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Like I know they told this total some bogus shit or like whatever. Like I know certain levels of, uh, Certain players are on different different uh, levels of what's actually going on, but for the average player that just comes out of college, they're making a shitload of money, and they're like sitting on the bench and like, oh, I guess this is how this game went. But you know, how many fucking coaches with headsets do they have on the fucking sidelines calling every fucking play? It, it is a choreography. Yeah, indeed. Um, and I I don't get why people can't see that. What do you many think about the Packer game? I'm kind of interested with the Packers and Lions. 
So you remember how Aaron Rodgers unveiled that uh, lion tattoo in the summer? Yeah. Yeah. He lost both times this year against the Lions, I believe, right? Yeah. yeah. That okay, so that he unveiled it on social media on the hundred and eighty seventh day of the year, and a lot of the news media covered it the next day, which was the hundred and eighty eighth day of the year. Well, from the day of him killing the tattoo to the final game against the Lions was exactly a span of 187 days, and he came into that game 18 and seven versus the Lions all time, and he lost, and he fell to 18 and eight on the eighth of January, kind of like how. August is Leo the lion, which is mostly the eighth month. But um, yeah, yeah, he's up eighteen and eight, like how that was the big story on the hundred eighty eighth day of the year. And wow, I, I'm trying to figure out what it's all about because you had Goff versus. So I was looking at it. You had Goff versus, Goff. Goff, and they both played at Cal in the Bay Area. And so it made me think about the 49ers because, like, okay, they're going to have this big of a ritual with Aaron Rodgers unveiling his first tattoo and then neither team even makes it to the playoffs. Like, what's this about? And then um, the one Leo who was a quarterback was Brady. He's out. The 49ers' first ever playoff game in the NFL was in the year 57 versus the Lions. So 49ers, 49ers are going to win it. Leo so. equals 49. Leo it, equals 49. Yeah. So something they did last week with the Bucks and Cowboys game, four straight missed extra points by the kicker, which reminds me of the Bills missing four straight Super Bowls versus the NFC. East. I knew that would happen too. <laughs> Zach, it's just funny how that happened because I, I, I did all the gematria. I wrote it all out, and I just knew with the four, and obviously Dak Prescott, number four, that he was – after one missed field goal, I, I told everybody, watch, wow, he's going to miss four field goal, uh, one point. Uh, and that was so stupid. It was it was all like okay, like even if he fuck like there's no fucking way. He's a fucking professional football kicker. He's not gonna miss a fucking easy ass chip shot. And four the fact that he did it like four times, it's like, come on. Yeah. You guys are really that stupid to fucking believe this. It's all symbolic and God. Uh, it's like, yeah. man shittiest kicks i've ever seen like but i think I could like you obviously missed it or the magnets were set off or something so what i what, I, like, what i'm getting on right now is okay the name hamlin and gematria equals 30 and 57 and what N every nfl team did for the last week of the season was at the 30 yard line they highlighted the three because hamlin wears number three and by the way demar hamlin changed his jersey number exactly 17 weeks before the week 17 game on the day leaving 117 days left in the year only for the hamlin ritual to happen on the 117th day of the season when buffalo bills equals 117 like how they had the store shooting 117 days before they open the season but anyway about the 30 yep. and 3 the nfc right now has 29 super bowl wins the afc has 27 so if the nfc beats the afc they'd have 30 like hamlin's 30 and there's two teams that could theoretically beat an AFC team for the third time in the Super Bowl. The Cowboys could beat the Bills for the third time, or the 49ers could beat the Bengals for the third time. And the thing about the Bengals and, and Niners is Super Bowl 23 was 49ers over Bengals. And now here we are in 23, and the 49ers won the first game at 23, and Brock Purdy's 23 years old, and he's born in the year of the rabbit. Sunday will be the first day of the year of the rabbit. The last day of the year of the Tigers tomorrow, and Trevor Lawrence, the Clemson Tiger, plays. But um, there's also a player on the 49ers named Jack Rabbit. And then the other, the other, the other two uh, rabbit. <laughs> you, the other, yeah, look it up. There's a Jack Rabbit on the 49ers. <laughs> the other two rabbits. Jack Rabbit. Yeah, yeah, look it up, man. There's a Jack Rabbit on the Niners. But, uh, <laughs> The other two guys born in the year of the record are Mike McCarthy and also the Giants coach who came over from the Bills. Oh. But think about it. It's the divisional round this this week for the playoffs, and three teams made it from the NFC East for the divisional round, and the Bills have only played NFC East teams in the Super Bowl. They lost to the Giants, the Redskins, and the Cowboys two times. And the last time the Cowboys beat them, they beat them with 30 points on January 30th, and that was in 94. And the game that the Cowboys just won was on Martin Luther King Jr. Day. And if MLK yep. was still alive, he would have been 94 years old. So I I'm looking at all of it right now because, uh, you know, now that they're not, not putting Brady in it, I'm a little bit torn on the NFC team. And 
In fact, I had been riding on the Bills all year, and the Bills still have a great narrative to be there, but I'm scratching my head about some other possible scenarios. So, anyway. uh, If I had to bet, I would say uh, 49ers versus the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Uh, well, what, what would be interesting is that if they did that, it would be, remember it was Super Bowl 54, right? The word sun equals 54, like Joe Montana equals 54. It was between his yeah. two teams. Now it's Super Bowl 57 and moon is 57. What I noticed about that potential matchup is when Super Bowl 54 happened, the, the, the HBO show ballers was, was still going on and the rocks in that who used to play football down in Miami, just like where the Super Bowl was that year. But the episode of Ballers where he buys the Kansas City Chiefs, that episode was exactly 112 days before the Super Bowl, and both Chiefs and Super Bowl equal 112. What's funny is the Niners and Chiefs played each other this year 112 days before the Super Bowl. That's why I'm looking at all this right now. I'm like, man, they made it tough this year the way they got these narratives laid out. I'm trying to figure out what they're doing. I, I would have bet um, Bucks versus Bills because it made sense during a financial collapse, but, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, they're they're changing the, the narrative. 49ers, the forty. I think they change the narrative like every fucking week or like day by day. Like, who knows? The, Maybe they, they're act it funny this year. This, this this year they put the puzzle together in the most. It's like that. It's on extra hard, difficult level. It feels like right now. So yeah. Maybe using a different uh, ciphering code or. Um, I, I mean, like Zach, I've been noticing single reduction. I, I see that hitting quite a bit. I mean, not sports wise. I haven't been looking, but in other things, it hits. God's it node said Eagles versus Bills in Super Bowl. Eagles win. Uh, I could, see, I could see that actually. I could see that. That would be the last FC East team they have not played yet. The thing about the Eagles is they play in Lincoln Financial Field, which equals 103, like the 103rd season, and the Super Bowl is on Lincoln's birthday, February 12th. So. That's another thing interesting, you got to think. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Anyway, well, hey, I got to off you guys because I, I got to do a quick stream before I yeah. have more time to do streams. But anyway, man, I'm sorry you've been in jail, dude. That sucks. And um, cool, if you man. Need, reach out to me, man, because you gave me a lot of taco money. But uh, <laughs> Taco money. I need some hey. real tacos now after the shit I've been eating. <laughs> Zach, it's good talking to you. Uh, good luck with all of your... Uh, you know predictions and everything. Um, yeah, it's always it's always good to hear. It's good yourself. talking to you. I, I wish I could have you know had the knowledge that you have. I mean, I I have some of it, but well, you got a lot of it, man. And uh, in a way, I mean, I'm, it sucks that you're in jail, but I, I'm glad to, actually that's the reason you were gone. I thought maybe you just moved on in life, but I'm glad you're still out there. So yeah, I you know I I mean I've moved on in life, but it's. You know, I, I got a lot more, you know, things I got I got to do, um, and uh, it, it just it it's just a big pain in the ass. That's all it is. It's a pain in the ass. But it's okay. But Life by the way, did you, did you hear me where, where I found out that in Exodus chapter twenty verse one is where the Ten Commandments start? Hmm. For two oh one. Yeah, I found that. Like that was the only book I had. I'm like, well, maybe I can decode this the bible i haven't read this I, I was i was listening to the whole stream times two to catch up and i heard you say that and I, i've been wanting to do the same thing like i was like maybe that's what i need to do is go to prison so i can just read the bible for a whole year and decode but uh, <laughs> just, just come to florida and don't drive with a license <laughs> well i think we're all living before long we will find ourselves in the prison cell because we violated the social credit score system and everything else but um yeah well if you that's think why about we it everyday prison. life is kind of a little bit of a prison cell at times like, look what just happened to me over some stupid shit, and there's meth heads and all this stuff getting out like that. But indeed, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you're out, man. And um, yeah, again, if you need any taco money, you know where to go. So <laughs> I'm I'm good, man. I'll, I'll figure it out. It's all good. He's He's like, he likes the prison survivor. tacos. Though. I'm a, I'm a honey badger, man. I, I can survive. Okay, I, I I don't doubt that one bit. And I was thinking this, I heard, I was, I was good to think he's a big, strong guy in jail for that long, man. I'm sure that helped him out. So when I heard you say that, I was like, of course it did. <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. You guys have a good, good night. Good talking to you, Zach. Yeah, take care. Right, Zach, thank you for catching up. I appreciate yeah. it, man. Yeah. Have a good night. Have a good one. Tell Sweet Lady hello.